All morning long, we're helping you save money with laundry hacks. So about 20 minutes ago, Mel tested several different types of solutions against hard-to-get-out stains. So let's check in. Mel, the clothes we know are out of the washing machine, so how'd it go? Almost. <laughs> Almost, Jen. I wanted this to be authentic, so I have no idea what's going to happen. So, fingers crossed. Okay, we're gonna stop this. It's still in like the rinse mode, um, which means that it's already gone through the wash. So let me just kinda wring it out. And let's check out this shirt. So remember, I stained it with mustard. I stained it with barbecue sauce. I stained it with oil. I stained it with all kinds of stuff. And let's see how she's looking. <gasps> wow! Uh, look! It worked! <gasps> the only thing I see is a little bit of the mustard here, but you know what? I didn't give this a great scrub. Um, I want to point out I did this without using any bleach, um, which actually we talked over with Mike Harris at Oceanside Cleaners, and he says, you know, be careful with bleach because obviously this is white. That would have worked for this, but a lot of the color safe stuff just really isn't the best to use. I do want to point out that you can get this one anywhere. It's Grandma's Spot Remover. He says this is what he swears by and uses all the time. We did a little hydrogen peroxide on the yellow, which I, I do think I probably could have gotten it out if I scrubbed a little bit more. So the key here is, is to spray it with the solution. You want to take like a little brush after it sat for about 10 minutes and you want to scrub it, scrub it. And he said, as soon as you see that stain start to lift, then it's time to go in the dryer. I mean, I'm sorry, in the washer to actually get it out. So I'm pretty impressed. What do you guys think? I am. I think that looks fantastic. And I think that Mel, one of the things I tend to spray and then I kind of put it away and don't put it right in the washer. And then I guess it just stays well, on. I mean, that's such a great advice as well that he gave you. Yeah, you know, he did say if you know spray it, it can sit, you know, for a little bit longer than you would think. But, you know, it's you want to scrub it. And he said that stain will start to move. And when it starts to move, you're in good shape. You know, I also want to point out one thing. I think I have it over here. Um, I have a sink in my washing machine, I mean, my laundry room. And so he says it's nice if you have a sink, but if you don't have a sink, a bucket will do. And that way, Jen, you know, if you don't want to get it into the washing machine right away, it can just sit in that bucket and then it can actually, you know, do that pre-soak, which a lot of us have actually on our washing machine. So, you know, just some tips. I mean, I think one of the big ones that we learned today, Jen, is that we don't need as much detergent as we think we need. Yeah, because you save money there too. By the way, I I've got a little tip for you. So you said there's a little stain yeah. left. Don't put that shirt in the dryer yeah. because if you do, then the stain's going to set. Yep. Oh, thanks, Bruce. There you go. That's a two for one. Guess who does the laundry at my house? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's you. Hey, real quick. So coming up at nine o'clock, I want you all to stick around because all of us have dry clean clothes that we stick in the washer and maybe lay, you know, hang. So I'm going to talk about some of the things that you can get away with washing that say dry clean only and then things that you probably need to take to the dry cleaners if you want to make sure that they're safe. So that's coming up at nine. Love it. All right. Thanks, Mel. Appreciate it. You're welcome.